Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, Chris is doing a little bit of explaining on his K10 that he just got the other day. And I put my 31 up on the jack stand and do some measurements to see how uh, screwed up my front end is. <laughs> also, don't mind me just doing the intro in bed. It was really cold today and because I'm stubborn, I didn't want to put any socks and shoes on, so I just got back into bed. Anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, tell some friends about the channel, and like always, if you're new here and you subscribe, your name goes at the end of the next video. Cheers. Alright. I got some explaining to do. I bought another car. It's definitely a project you're gonna see on Zave's channel for sure. It's a K11 1969 Corolla. It was something I was looking for for a bit. The plan was not to get another car until the MR2 was finished. But like the MR2 is actually getting pretty close now. And this popped up and I sort of couldn't turn it down. It's a not a common thing to find. And uh it was pretty cheap. So the plan for it is I grew up with my dad doing historic racing and those weekends were like the best thing ever. And I always wanted to race my own car, but now like if you get into those sorts of classes, everything is dumb expensive. Like a Mark 1 Escort, like or Datsun 240Z or Alpha GTV, stuff like that. And I wanted something Japanese as well that was a little bit cheaper. I wanted it light and I didn't care to be competitive. Like I just want to go out and have fun and build the main like aspect is driving having fun but also like the building is a big important part for me as well i want to learn so much and i want to build this how i want to build it i want to put what i want to what i want in it so i wanted something japanese something light and something i could take to like hill climb events sprint events stuff like that i can join matt and race with matt and whatnot and i was looking at k70s and then this popped up and factory they're 700 kilos this is like probably 400 kilos right now with nothing in it. So I was like, okay, I'm sold. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. It is cool. It's like, they come out really, really, really nice. Put some like 13 by six A3As on it. Got it, a cage, two buckets, and a car before AG in it. That's the plan. But this is not happening for a while. This is probably gonna be in a month's time or so. Hello. Hello. So I guess we start with tidying all that up and then we'll clean up this a little bit, go through it. See what it has. Start making a little parts list of what we need. We need much because it's literally gonna have no interior. The dash is so cool. This thing. Oh man. We'll some bobs to do. Gotta get a cluster for it. I've got a guy who's already he's got them. Get some speedos and tackles. This is also one of my favorite things. And then it's also got the cutest fuel tank in the world. A little 10 liter thing. But yeah, this is the new project car for me. Something completely different from that and from that. So cool. Battery went flat. I have made space and sorted my stuff. So each box has an S13, MR2, they're the K11 box, K10 boxes, and then just random stuff. Chelsea's nicely sorted. Top shop there is just random shit that, you know, we won't talk about. Anyway, we're gonna vacuum it now, I think. See what's in it, actually. I'm just gonna go through and see what's loose. I've got a random indicator here for a Toyota, but not for this car. Here's the headlight. Holy dooly. Oh my god, are they both the same side? No way. They're both the same side. Are you joking? That's gonna look cool one day. A mounted door seal, broken off, fender mirror. Oh, we're gonna put fender mirrors on it. The bolts, so I'm just gonna put them in here. These are cool pieces. That's the rear bumper. That is, that's a rock. It's empty. That's all. Pretty much everything fits in one box. The tires are flat as attack. That is annoying. Everything that was inside there is. Oh, hell yeah, man. Little box now. Yeah, sick. So you want to go forward? Yeah. Nice. Alright, that's enough. Okay. Wow. With flat tires and it's that easy to push. Yeah. That's pretty insane. Yeah, those seats are gonna go straight to the tip when we do a tip run. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. Brad's home. He hasn't really seen it other than this sales post, which wasn't very depictive. Doesn't really even know what it is. 
Hello, Brad. Hello. The yellow. Oh, cool. So, it comes with nothing, but that's exactly. Okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I have no plan to have any interior in here except for roll cage and bucket seats. What are you putting in it? Uh, a carbureted 4 AG. Oh yeah, you do. With trumpets. Okie dokie, update and thought process explaining time. So I just went to Bunnings, tried to get razor blades, they didn't have any plastic ones. Sorry, I just got a randomly button because I realised that this makes absolutely no sense. The plastic razor blades are trying to get the sticker off the pillars on the R34. But they ended up giving me two porcelain ones, so I'll have to try and see if I can get that sticker off using them. It's a bit of a bummer though because I know with plastic you can be sort of aggressive with it and it's not gonna dig into the paint. I'm gonna sand the pillars anyway and paint them but it'd just be nice if it didn't gouged them out. <laughs> After that ended up going to a workshop up the coast uh, in Narang somewhere, Narang Tire and Mechanical maybe, to check if they could do a wheel alignment on the front end of the 31. Oh was I zoomed in that whole time? God damn it. So ever since I bought this car the left wheels had more camber on the right wheel. It looks like it's got more camber but it also looks like the bottom of the wheel sticks out further than the other side. So if you look at this compared to this. So I'm just hoping there's not something bent in the front end of this. Uh, there could possibly be I'm not really too fast, but it would be better if it wasn't. <laughs> and pretty much where I'm standing at the moment is, I really love this car, but I really want a 180 or an S13, so I just don't really know what to do. Because I know that I'm going to sell that 34, get a little bit of money. I'm also saving for a house because I really want to get a property so I can store my shit boxes everywhere pretty much. My plan is sell the 34 eventually after paint and all that, and then I wasn't sure if I was going to sell the 31 as well, and then just have the Corona as like a daily and then wait till a, a Sylvia pops up that's a really good deal or put an RB25 into the 31 which is also a possibility. It really depends on whether or not this front end is actually screwed up. So gonna put it up on jack stands just get under it see if anything's really bent if not it could just be the alignment and I'm hoping it's the alignment. We went to a racetrack the other day and uh, I didn't film it because the racetrack might have had a centre line. Uh, anyway, I really enjoyed the way that the 31 felt, so it's hard to want to give up something after having a little slide, so I don't know. I'm in an iron. Anyway, let's put it up and have a squiz. See? Look at that rail, it's mint. Don't mind the uh, definitely not camel weird tyre. There really isn't much room to like move the camera around because I got the mic and it's just going to be terrible audio. But I've looked at all my lower control arm and tie rod and tie rod ends look all good. I mean that tie rod end's completely fucking shot so I need to get a new one. But it's not bent or anything. Same with this side actually. But there is a pale steering leak leaking out of that seal there. So the input shaft goes into the steering rack. It doesn't look super bad. I mean it looks pretty bad but it doesn't look absolutely horrendous like it's not dripping hasn't dripped since I've been under here which is good apart from that man everything looks really good under here surprisingly everything looks really reasonably straight I mean this exhaust taken a beating definitely past visual inspection I think the plan for me now is I'm just gonna crawl under with the tape measure and just do a couple of measurements I don't really know what I'm measuring for but if something's different I'll probably figure it out <laughs> I mean something's definitely different but hopefully nothing's bent <laughs> That coilover sits 13mm away from the frame rail on this right hand side, 12 and a half on this side. I definitely think that this wheel, like this left hand side's got more camber hay. I think the amount, hang on, I'll fucking measure it, 24. Hello. Hi mate. I'm sorry. Hold it straight. Oh, nice, please, can you hold that? What was the other one? 24, I think. Ooh, that one's like 28 to the wheel. Back. Shit. <laughs> well, what's wrong then? I have no idea. Like, nothing looks bent, and that's what's really deceiving. Is it possible you have incorrect parts? Yes. I would just get the alignment first, dude, before. Yeah, I think so, hey. I think that's all it really is. That's, that's quite a big difference. It is a big difference, hey. Is that wheel or centimeters? That's centimeters, right? 
Four centimeter difference is quite a bit. Yeah, it doesn't matter, it's a skid figure. True, but it matters for fitment. That's the yeah, only that's thing. Not, yeah. yeah. Oh well, this is what it is. So yeah, I'm stoked for Chris, that little K10, such a cool little car, and it's so cool that he's got these plans to make a proper race car out of it, and uh, with the 4A, and it's going to be so sick. And that's the My Skyline, problem for another day. <laughs> anyway guys, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, tell some friends about the channel, and like always, if you're new here and you subscribe, your name goes at the end of the next video. Cheers. Okie dokie, catch up and thought of... Okie dokie, catch up and... Okie dokie, thought process and time explaining fuck me, what am I trying to say?